Welcome back to NRM 638, Python Scripting for ArcGIS Applications, Spring Semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. This week we're going to work with script tools, and script tools are menu-based interfaces that you create in your own personal toolbox. And they have many advantages. One advantage is you could, for example, zip this folder up and then email the folder. And then another user would have all your script tools as long as you have your Python scripts in the same folder and could execute these script tools somewhere else. Another advantage is we can run script tools in batch. So, for example, for this script tool, I could run it many, many times just by creating rows and then selecting a polygon feature class as input and then hitting OK. Another advantage of script tools are they're very flexible. So for example, here we have a script tool compute percent area and all the user has to do is select a polygon feature class and it will compute the percent area by polygon for any polygon feature class the user selects going to any folder connection, etc. Another advantage of script tools is you can filter. So, for example, here's a script tool, compute percent area by polygon. And in my table of contents, I have a point feature, a point layer, and a polygon layer. I cannot select. There's internal validation that basically says that feature type, a point feature type, will not work with this script tool. So basically the script tool forces the user to select only polygon feature layers or feature class. Another advantage is we can use our script tool and automatically name output. So for example, this script tool is one of the four script tools you could use for your assignment this week and it computes percent area, it automatically adds a field to whatever polygon feature class that's selected. So the user doesn't have to type in a new field name, it's automatically added to the point attribute table. Another advantage is with these script tools, you can prompt the user with instructions. So for example, for this dialog, we have a prompt, select polygon feature class, use the dropdown to select polygon layer from your table of contents, or use the folder icon to browse and select polygon feature from folder connections. So we could use that folder and select a polygon from some folder connection. Okay, so that's basically what script tools are all about. And this week you'll do two script tools, have a choice of four applications to choose from. First application is a script tool to compute the percent area by polygon for any polygon feature class. So if we go to our toolbox, we can run this script tool and it gives us a description, script tool to compute the total area of all polygons, then add a field per area representing the percent area for each polygon. So we select either a polygon layer or a polygon feature class, and then press OK, and then that executes a Python script. Polygons, we now have a new field called percent area, and that will add up to 100%. So if we right mouse click and go to statistics, it does sum up to 100%. So the smallest polygon, 2.28% of the area, is this polygon. And the largest polygon, 30% of the area, is this polygon. A second application that is in our assignment for this week that you might choose from is this script tool, Create a Square Buffer. So create a square buffer centered over each point. And the first thing we'll do is input our point feature class. 
So you could either use a drop down, browse to the hard drive, or we could even drag it from our table of contents. And then square diameter. So what's going to be the diameter of our square? So let's make our squares 1,000 meters and then the output square feature class. So we'll browse to our C temp and we'll call this square buffers and save and then OK and we'll execute our script tool. So that creates in C temp square buffers SHP. So then here are the square buffers centered around each point and the buffer width and length is a thousand meters. Another application you might choose from in this week's assignment is north-south transect lines. So north-south transect lines will create a line centered through each point and the line will be whatever the user specifies. So let's specify we want our lines to be a thousand meters long and then we'll center the lines over our plots and our plots will be these random points. And then we'll output to, let's output to a geo database just to do something different. So I'll create a geo database and I'll call it Transex. And then we'll output to this geo database and we'll call it Lines. And then OK, our script executes. And then let's look at the output from this script tool. So the output is in our geo database. The name of the feature class is lines and each line is centered over a random point, which represents a plot. Okay. And the last application that you can choose from for your scripting assignment this week is random vectors. So random vectors will create a line the length user specifies so we'll create thousand meter lines from some point feature class so we'll use random points again and then we'll output to our geo database and we'll call this um, random vector lines so what this will do is create lines each line will be a thousand meters long but their direction will be, be randomly determined so the direction can be anything randomly from 0 to 360 degrees starting at the point. So starting at the point and going out in any random direction and each line will be the user specified a thousand meters long. So we run our script and I'll symbolize that output as an arrow at the end a width of one. So now we have our random vector lines. They start at each point location and then they randomly go up in any direction. And then each line is exactly a thousand meters long. Okay, so that's the example of four applications. In this week's assignment, you'll do two of those four applications as script tools. So if you go to the Blackboard website, I've got all the video sessions for this week on script tools ready for you.